halogenol alkane. Before we start halogenol alkane, we need to note that there are in actual fact three functional groups that will contain halogenol alkane. So the first one is none other than halogenol alkane itself. Uh, take note that uh, uh, you need to know whether it's one degree, two degree, and three degree halogenol alkane. That's important. Uh, the other part to, and the other functional group is your halogenol arene. In this case, obviously the halogen directly bonds to the benzene. And finally, when you come to acid chloride, you actually have a COCl. That is something we'll learn later. We'll learn subsequently much later in carboxy acid. So let's do a quick intro in terms of the structure of halogen alkene. Certainly, the unique structure is governed by the C to X bond. And we need to highlight that uh, as far as X is concerned, it's disproportionately larger than that of carbon and your hydrogen. So which means structurally it's not stable because the bond energy of C to X is weak. Second part is to take note that X is way more electronegative than your chlorine. So therefore, because of this, there will be a big, there will be a delta minus charge on the halogen, while the carbon that's bonded to the halogen will be delta plus. How does that affect its physical properties? So when we later look at examples of physical properties, we need to study both in terms of the number of electrons of the halogenol alkane and as well as the permanent dipole of the C to X bond. Hence, there are two components to look at. So one part is actually your non-polar alkyl group. The other part, the C to X bond, is actually polar. And uh, certainly, uh, if you're non-polar, you'll be hydrophobic. Conversely, C to X bond is hydrophilic. Uh, so poor solubility in water, soluble in water, good solubility uh, in uh, organic solvent, but the insoluble in organic solvent, all right? In terms of chemical properties, halogen alkanes will therefore undertake two reactions. Reac both reactions involve getting rid of your halogen. So the first way is certainly through nucleophilic substitution. Since the C is delta plus, it's capable of attracting a nucleophile to go towards it. And therefore, in the process, your X minus will leave since the bond energy is weak. And structurally, X is actually significantly, and structurally, uh, X is disproportionately larger. The next reaction that could happen is when actually elimination occurs, meaning to say the X will leave and pull away the hydrogen atoms bonded to the adjacent carbon atom. So both of them will leave and they will eliminate uh, producing a C2C double bond. So hence, in conclusion, halogenol alkane undertake two reactions, nucleophilic sub elimination.